Audi, Imar Talim here, and something that I was just made aware of today. Um, I got a message from Archangel Manga, um, a good friend of mine on YouTube, uh, who told me that MP14 Anime's channel was gone. And I did some, you know, research on it, um, I looked into it, and it turned out that um, MP14 Anime, um, they just you know, had too much going on in their lives, um, they couldn't, uh, you know, keep up with making YouTube videos, um, so they just decided to, you know, stop. So I thought I'd, you know, talk about my experience with MP14 anime and just remember uh, them. So, um, I remember the very first time I ever came across MP14 anime was, it was an unboxing video, um, a manga unboxing, and um, I remember that they were unboxing uh, Rosario Vampire Manga and Pokemon Adventures Manga and uh, I remember when I was watching it I was just thinking to myself God these people are so entertaining you know the, the, the way they bounce off each other and they have all these funny stories um, like for example um, when uh, it, like Mushi uh, mentioned that his grandmother came in um, I was looked at his um, Tales of the Abyss manga and she said, you know, and she asked him, is this porn? And he was thinking, no, it's not. He was saying, no, it's not. But um, I remember that, that video was so entertaining, I hit subscribe immediately. And uh, since then, I've watched many of their videos. And um, it was one of their videos, in fact, that inspired me to make this channel. Um, well, not to make this channel, I guess, but to restart this channel to... Um, you know, set it up anew. It was a contest of theirs. Um, I can't exactly remember which contest, but it was uh, held last year. And um, the objective of the contest was to make a video um, to do with anime or manga. And it could be of any length about anything as long as anime or manga related. Uh, and I decided to make a video called my Otaku Collection video, which I will include in the link down there. Um, if you haven't seen it already. Um, basically, it's, it's just kind of a manga anime collection video along with, you know, some Japanese films and some light novels, etc, etc. Um, and from there on, I just kept making videos. Um, you know, I got some subscribers from that contest that, you know, um, were into me, into, you know, what I created. Um, I just kept going. Um, I created reviews, discussions, etc, etc. Um, I had some great conversations with MP14 Anime. They gave me a lot of support. Um, I I made another uh, video for um, uh, their con next contest. Uh, I remember he had said that he wanted um, people to make room tours because he was, uh, you know, he always loved room tours. So I made a room tour, and it, that was positively well received. And recently, um, they he actually made um, a you know a subscriber spotlight. Um, I guess. I was to be his only subscriber spotlight, um, to spotlighting me um, and this other fella. Um, I can't remember his name now, but um, before that, I guess I should say he asked me, um, you know, do you want to be um, part of this subscriber spotlight? And I was thinking, yes, hell yes, you know, um, because, you know, he was my idol, is my idol, I guess I should say, and her. Um, and I was thinking, you know, to be in anything that they, you know, were going to do. Um, would be a great honor. Now, I had at this point no idea what this subscriber spotlight meant. Um, like, I knew he'd be focusing some attention on me, but I thought maybe, you know, that there'd be like, you know, 10 people in this video and he'd just give like a quick kind of, um, you know, this, this, this to each of them. Um, but it then turned out that he actually made pretty much an entire video focusing on me and my channel. And uh, talk about how great I was, which, you know, is very flattering. So, um, I guess the best way to describe how I felt that day was, you know, if, if you, like, became a, a musician and you heard that you were recommended by, you know, one of your idols or um, if um, you went into filmmaking and um, you heard that, you know, one of the great directors... Um, had recommended one of your films or was recommending your filmography. Um, I guess that is how I felt that day when um, I saw him, you know, praising me and 
recommending me to people. Um, so, you know, I really do feel that the loss of their channel is a great one to the um, anime um, community on YouTube. Um, they were among the most um, entertaining, the most um, interactive um, people and uh, I feel their loss greatly. Um, now I do feel that their action with um, removing the entire YouTube channel is a bit extreme. Um, I like I can understand like that they've had to deal with other things in real life, but um, I would have thought you know making a kind of a finale video and uh, leaving the channel up there uh, would have been a more logical decision. Um, but you know I don't know what was happening with them. I I don't know. Um, you know, the reasons for taking down a YouTube channel, so I can't really comment. So, um, I do feel very sad and to have lost them, and I'm sure many of you who also subscribe to them uh, have felt the, feel the pain um, very similarly, so... <sighs> yeah, that's it, I guess. Um, Hopefully you found this entertaining and just kind of a retrospective on my um, experience with them. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe and bye bye.